Hi everyone, I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. In this video, we're going to have a look at uh, this new creation of mine. It's a mech suit. Let's see what it can do, how it works and how you can remote control it. The mech suit is a robot remix, so I built it out of just two boxes. I'll show them to you. So I used, of course, the my basic Mindstorm set. And here is the um, forest harvesting machine. I figured that um, the forest harvesting machine was a little boring with wheels and driving around and all. And I figured that real men should want a mech suit to harvest forests. So I remixed both and this uh, robot has got some awesome features. Let's have a look at them. The saw blade here is powered by the medium motor and the medium motor has got uh, multiple functions here because um, turning it one direction or the other makes it uh, flip the pneumatic switch so you can open and close the arms while rotating the saw blade. The wrist here is um, fully articulated so you can rotate it to grab tree trunks uh, in any position and you can see it still opens and closes in any position. You have to set it up manually though. Let's have a look now at the complete range of movement of the arms. As you can see it um, can close its arms to grab a tree trunk and saw it in place. Then it can open its arms again to uh, walk and grab another tree trunk. The walking is um, completely remote control, so the robot can step and make turns and reposition itself to grab the best possible tree trunks and cut them down into small parts. You can see here that I never even built the original forest harvesting machine with the ID from that mech suit in my mind, I had to start building it. I made a stop motion video while designing and building the mech suit and it's um, nice to show you how I built it. The first thing I did was of course build the legs and I wanted the mech suit originally to move like a chicken so it had this um, moving ankle construction that could um, transform or transport all of the weight over one leg, rotate it and then put all of the weight on another leg. And here you can see uh, the legs are making their first paces. Um, the legs are pointed inwards because um, I have to keep the CG, the center of gravity, um, as well as I can underneath the robot. And you can see it walks reasonably well um, without any arms. But as soon as I start adding battery boxes and uh, larger arms, the walking is uh, more and more um, tedious and difficult for the robot. Um, even here it still works, but the arms, as you can see, they are very minimal. They are not moving and they don't have any pneumatics in there. So um, there is a lot of design and finishing work to do. Here you can see I'm building more final arms with pneumatics inside. In this picture the robot still has moving ankles. However, I switched to a different uh, propulsion system with a lever pushing the robot up. I just couldn't get the, ro the rotating ankles uh, stable enough. The robot would topple over in all directions. Uh, this with the lever works fine. You can go straight, you can make turns and you can completely uh, remote, the, uh, remote control the robot as you wish. Well, this concludes my video about the mech suit. I hope uh, you'll build one too. I will be posting building instructions on my website later. They take a lot of work to produce, so uh, please give me some time. In the meantime, um, subscribe to my channel and, um, or go to my Facebook page. There are a lot of nice uh, other videos 
that you can see. In another video, I'll also do one about programming this one. In the meantime, enjoy my other videos.